Hey guys, Film Recaps here, and today we're covering a 2020 horror thriller movie called Getaway. The opening scene of the movie shows a body being dragged by an unidentified person. Just then, Tamara, a young lady, wakes up in her bed after having a nightmare. Up next, another unidentified person and two other people are seen digging a grave. One morning, Tamara has a bath in her bathtub. Upon finishing her business, Tamara listens to the news on the radio about a young woman who is missing. She then leaves her house for a girl's trip by the lake. There, Tamara meets Jerry, an admirer of Tamara and Sheriff Deputy, at the door. Jerry begs Tamara for another date but she humbly refuses. She promises to call Jerry and the duo says goodbye to each other. Tamara hits the road after her chat with Jerry and calls Maddie and Brooke who are her friends on the phone, informing them that she's on her way. Shortly afterward, Tamara's car runs out of fuel in the middle of the road. She parks beside the road to think of her next move. Moments later, a truck parks right behind Tamara's car. The bearded man who goes by the name of Merv comes out and asks Tamara what the problem was. Tamara tells him that she ran out of fuel, he tells her that he's willing to help if there's something in it for him. Tamara reconsiders Merv's condition for helping her. After an awkward silence, he acknowledges that he's only joking and goes over to his truck to get a keg of gas. Tamara fakes a call to her friends telling them her location. Upon putting down the phone, Tamara looks outside her car window and sees Keeb, Merv's brother. The brothers ask Tamara where she is headed. After she tells them, they suggest they all go have a party by the lake but Tamara tells them her friends are waiting for her. Tamara thanks them for the gas and drives away. The brothers followed suit shortly. Up next, Tamara gets to the lake and goes looking for her friends. Just as Tamara arrives, Brooke goes to some boys to get shots of drinks from them. The boys ask Brooke where she would be later in the day and she tells them that she and her friends will be at the bar in town. The boys promise to show and she leaves. Meanwhile, a pair of eyes stalk the girls from a distance as they have fun. Getting ready for the night inside their motel room, Tamara and her friends hear a noise from outside. The trio goes to investigate. They see a man walk by. This prompts them to turn off their lights. Now scared, they move slowly to the door only to find out that it is Jerry at the door. Jerry brings Tamara a flower and the duo have a chat before Jerry leaves. The girls tease Tamara about Jerry. A little while later, the girls get in their car and leave for the bar. Arriving at the bar, they order three shots of tequila but the bartender collects no payment in return. Maddie goes to the restroom while her friends dance to a tune in the bar. Tamara leaves shortly to go check on Maddie in the restroom. Maddie sniffs a puff of substance she got from a lady in the restroom and tells Tamara not to tell Brooke. Tamara and Maddie leave afterward. Two men walk into the bar as the girls enjoy their night. They walk over to the bartender and order three vodkas with lime. The bartender tells them that he is out of lime. The unknown man tells the bartender to send the drinks to the girls. As he delivers the drink to the girls, they ask the bartender who their benefactor is. He looked at the bar table but couldn't see them again. The girls thank him and continue with their fun. While the girls dance, Tamara feels dizzy. She goes outside the bar and lies on a bench. Just then, two men came over. Later on, Tamara wakes up in the back of a truck. She comes down and goes under the truck. She then hears a male voice asking, where is she? The men whose faces are now revealed as Merv and Keeb with their father come over to the truck but couldn't find Tamara in the back. They search for Tamara and find her under the truck. She fights them off and escapes running into the bush. She is knocked out just as she stops to check her phone. The next scene shows Tamara tied up in a stable. The father of the brothers tells her that the Lord has a plan for her. She threatens they won't get away with what they are doing to her. But they replied by telling her they always do and that she's not their first victim. Tamara is told by the trio that their family has an obligation for the Lord and it must be fulfilled. Tamara tells them that her family has their obligations too. She adds that she is from the pit of hell. Just then, she starts to have a seizure. She throws up on Keeb afterward. Keeb discusses what Tamara said inside with his brother and father but they assured him nothing will happen. Inside the stable, Tamara activates her phone's voice assistant. She tells it to call Jerry. But as soon as Jerry picks up her call, the phone battery shuts off. Merv is outside the house fantasizing about what to do to Tamara the following day as the apartment's doors are locked. Merv assumes it's Keeb that locked the doors. He tells Keeb to stop with the prank. When he is concentrating on the locked doors, a human figure in white walks by him. Just then, Keeb opens the doors and tells Merv he didn't lock the doors. Merv tells Keeb to go get his truck keys for him. After collecting the keys, Merv goes over to the truck and starts the engine. A female figure in white appears in front of his truck as he starts the engine. Merv goes forward and runs the female figure over. Merv comes out of the truck to investigate but couldn't find anything. He leaves afterward. At the dining table, the trio prays as they are about to eat. Inside his room, their father opens a wooden box and brings out a woman's hair from out of the multiple he keeps inside the box. 
He plays with himself as he holds the hair. While he plays with himself, the door to his room opens slowly. He stands up furiously and goes to the living room where his sons are watching TV. He assumes they are the ones who came to disturb him and warns them not to repeat such. The father goes back to his room and shouts for the sons to come over immediately. On getting to the room, he shows them the bones of a human scattered on his bed. Keeb reminds him of the curse Tamara mentioned. However, he assures him there's no curse and tells Keeb to clean his room. Merv and his father go over to meet Tamara where she is tied and ask her how she did it. Tamara, confused, asks them what they are talking about. The father slaps her. Just then, there is movement outside the stable. They go out to investigate but the stable door shuts itself. They come inside to check on Tamara again before leaving for their apartment. Meanwhile, Jerry sits down to eat in his apartment when he listens to Tamara's short voicemail telling him that she has been kidnapped by the three men. He tries Tamara's cell repeatedly but it goes to voicemail each time. Back in the stable, Keeb comes over to Tamara and confesses that Merv and his father made him do some very bad things. He adds that his father tells him that all the girls that have been sent to heaven by them are saved. Tamara asks him if he really believes what he has been told. Tamara tells Keeb that she is not a witch. Immediately, Keeb sighs and says Tamara is an angel and she is eligible for their sacrifice. Afterward, as Merv sleeps, the woman in the white robe from earlier crawls over him and pleasures him. Just then, he opens his eyes and the woman screams at him. He stands up and picks up his gun. Merv goes to their father's room where he finds him facing the wall with writings on it, do you miss us now? Keeb comes into the room too. Their father acknowledges that Tamara is the devil and she has sent back all the sacrificed girls to come back and haunt them. The following morning, the trio goes over to the stable and unties Tamara. They prepare her for a ritual. She is put in front of a bowl of water. The father asks her if she accepts God as her savior but she gives no reply. They dipped her head into the water and the process is repeated till the third time when the father asks her. She answers yes the third time. Afterward, they take her back into the stable. On getting to the stable, the trio finds mysterious knots hanging inside the stable. The father tells Keeb to burn the knots and prepare the hole. Keeb disagrees and says Tamara is not an angel and she won't go to heaven after the sacrifice. Keeb's father forces him and he obeys afterward. In the next scene, Jerry is seen walking into the bar and asking the bartender some questions about Tamara and the men from the other night. After getting no tangible lead, Jerry leaves. Back in the stable, Tamara unties herself as Keeb digs a hole. After untying herself, Tamara looks through the stable doors but couldn't find Keeb. Just then, Keeb appears beside her. The duo argues about angels and demons. Tamara manipulates Keeb and he terminates himself with a pitchfork. He falls into the hole he has dug. Next, Merv comes out of the house and chases after Tamara as she runs into the woods. Moments later, the father wakes up inside the house and calls his sons. He finds Keeb's body in the hole. Just then, the father hears weeping from the woods. He goes to investigate, but he gets knocked out when he sees two women in white robes and scary masks, who turn out to be Brooke and Maddie. Still running in the woods, Tamara knocks out Merv by hitting him in the head with a stone after the two engage in a struggle. Tamara brings Merv's body to the stable where Brooke and Maddie were waiting for her with the father's body. Later that night, Jerry is seen driving on the highway to search for Tamara. Later, the girls tie up Merv and his father. The girls wake the duo up and reveal to them that they have been monitoring them for a while now. The girls toy with them and tell them they are going to play a game called 16 Angels which stands for the number of girls they have kidnapped. The girls tell the duo that they have 16 seconds to untie themselves and escape. The father unties himself and leaves his son but he is shot by the girls. Just then, Jerry hears the shot from a distance and he calls for backup. Meanwhile, Merv unties himself and tries to escape but the girls shoot him too. Jerry arrives at the scene and they leave afterward. Sometimes passes, Maddie gets a call from Brooke telling Tamara to check her email. Upon opening her mail, she finds a missing person's poster. Tamara smiles at Maddie and says, girls trip. The movie comes to an end leaving us with the idea that the girls are now local vigilantes. Thanks for watching guys.